Okay. Timey whiny, timey whiny shenanigans. Man, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, let's go get up to some bull okay? Let's go get really weird with our time travel shenanigans. We're gonna go back to our world. Um, oh, actually, we haven't been on the boat in a while. Let's check on the boat now in our new game plus. Crystallion is having the time of his life. <laughs> I love that. Y'all remember Crystallion? The random f***ing crab we beat in the arena? Oh yeah, we did have new music to give them. Notice how I spin it? Okay, we're all good there. <laughs> He's looking for something. You want to hear a story? Oh, I don't think we... Because this is technically before we gave her our, our stories. Okay, we should still have quite a few achievements to get. Oh, we haven't brought, brought all of the conches to Myrna. How many conches do we have? We have all 60 rainbow conches. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, yeah, the crab. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna write down for myself what we need to do. Um, also, because I just pulled up my notes, um, I said it at the beginning of the stream, but I, it bears repeating now. Um, we have an official date, or rather a tentative date, maybe, for the official stream relaunch. Um, we're going to be doing a subathon on January 27th, so one month from now. Right? Yeah, today's the 27th. Uh, January 27th, we're going to be doing a subathon. Make, I'm going to try to make it as big an event as possible. Um, and uh, we're going to do a marathon of probably horror games or something like that, or maybe some indies, I don't know. Um, I'll have more information when that comes around. But the idea is going to be, you know, people sub, people give bits, that sort of thing. Um, and you get, like, art rewards and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so put that on your calendars. Ju uh, January 27th. Um, it's probably going to be, like, an all-day thing, I think. It's going to be a very long one, whatever it is. Um, and also, sometime before then, ideally, um, I will be beginning to multicast on Twitch and YouTube. That may change over the month. I may decide that I don't want to do that at all. The plan is to prepare for multicasting throughout January and the move to streamer bot so when uh the sort of stream relaunch happens i have a bunch of new sort of features on the stream new things that you guys can do but it'll look pretty much the same as it looks right now um so there's that to look forward to oh also um if you're not already subscribed to the vods channel the vods channel is going crazy right now there's uploads every day we're getting back to being up to the current timeline. Uh, by the end of January, we'll be within like a week or two of the present. Um, and then from that point on, uh, streams will go up on the VOD channel within a week or two of um, happening on the stream so that people can stay up to date with the stream in between streams if you miss something. Um, yeah. That's a bunch of updates, but uh, thank you for bearing with me through them. <laughs> okay. Um, so, we need to drop off those conches. Uh, cook every recipe. We need to look up what recipes we've cooked. Every recipe. Find every single treasure. There's one treasure missing. I don't know... Yeah, it doesn't tell me what I've cooked and what I haven't. I guess we'll just have to go to go back to Mirth and grab a bunch of ingredients and just try to cook everything. Um, when we saved... Had we bought the recipes for those other two things yet? Yeah, it was the bra braise and the lasagna, right? Were the last two ones? I think. 
and I don't think we've cooked either of those yet. So that makes sense. Okay, we gotta do some cooking. Um, do we have enough ingredients to do cooking? Can we cook it here? I've never cooked in here before. There we go, okay. Um, I don't have enough, I gotta, I gotta eat my stuff. <laughs> Ane, meow. Do you wanna say hi to the stream? Yeah, okay. Give me a second. She just woke up and she wants to say hi. Purple says hi to the cat. You're making cute little noises. I don't know what those noises are. Can I, can I sit like this? Do you want a noodle for me? <laughs> She's purring. <laughs> She's tan. <laughs> you good? All done? Okay. Who is texting me? <laughs> That's great. Um Okay. We're good. <clears throat> Thank you for being patient with me, everyone. Yeah, we are now in the uh, in the the hundred percent adventure part of our our trek, and things are about to get a little tedious. Um, I think rather than cooking here, I'm gonna go ahead and get us to a town. We're gonna go to Mirth. Actually, we're gonna go to, to Dakari Village first. I want to exchange those um, um, thingamajigs, whatever they're called, the rainbow conches. I want to exchange those, and then. Because uh, the last reward for the Rainbow Conscious was something meta, if I remember right. I want to see what's up with that. <coughs> Excuse me. God, this is disgusting. I'm so sorry. Um, where are we going? Going this way. Be -do -be -do -be. Going to our home world. Um, we're going the wrong way for him. Thank you for resolving that melody. <laughs> You're welcome. Where is, um... <clears throat> Where's Dokari Village again? Was that on Watcher Island? I don't remember. Is this Dokari Village? <laughs> Lake Dokaria. Yeah, that's where we get there, right? I think. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think I have a way to get there very quickly. But this is close enough. Uh, the reason I was going to go to a town um, was so we could sell our food that we have and uh, make some new food that we haven't cooked before. Pudding, chomer, and a rainbow star. Hey, you emptied my stocks. What a fruitful collaboration this was. That last item was my most peculiar one. No idea what it's for. 
flew up and disappeared. Ah. Okay. I was wondering if that would have something to do with that. Did you see that? Oh, well, guess that one was a dud after all. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's go to a shopkeep here in town. We're just gonna sell some of the food that we have and uh, I'm gonna cook some other stuff. Um, just in case we have to do any fighting, I'm gonna keep some of it. But let's, uh, let's get rid of like the sort of weaker stuff. <laughs> Um, I guess we can get rid of that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we have three things that I know we need to cook. Yeah, let's go. Full beans. Um, I thought there was a place to cook in there, but there wasn't. I was thinking of somewhere else. <laughs> let's go back to the inn, wherever that is in here. Is there an inn in this town? I mean, I can go to Myrna. Is it here? Where do you cook here? Is, that a pl is there not a place to cook in Dokari Village? I feel like there was a whole... This is gonna be like somebody's house. Yeah, it's somebody's house. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, man. Look, we're just gonna go back to Mirth, okay? <laughs> we gotta get there eventually anyways. Let's get out of here. This place is weird. We may as well save. <laughs> this is very silly. This is a silly game. I do really wish that it gave me um, information on the achievements that I hadn't gotten yet um, when we were looking on the ship, because they, they're just blanked out if you don't know what they are. Um, so I'm wondering, like, are they late game stuff that I haven't unlocked yet? Like, we're, we're pretty much as late as late game can get. So it's weird that that stuff wouldn't be available to me, like, especially now because I'm... I'm doing the thing where I'm on the world map, world map, um, you know, completing stuff I haven't completed yet. Okay, Mirth is up here, right? Yeah. Let's make some food! Okay, I should be able to cook in here, right? How do I... Okay, I guess not. I'm just gonna get this food and we'll go right out of town and we'll rest and do food that way. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Nobody has any fucking fire pits that I can use? A little stew pot? A little spit? Not as an ingredient. I mean, like, the thing you cook things over. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll rest right out here and we'll make the food. Yes? Okay, yeah. I remember when Garl taught us how to make edibles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Garl. We love that boy so much. Let us cook. Okay, we haven't made this before. I don't think we've cooked braise before, whatever the fuck that is. I'm stopping, I'm, I'm fully not trying to pronounce things correctly anymore. Um, we have definitely made, uh, we, we, I don't think we've made lasagna yet. We need more meat and milk. 
Um, but we've definitely made all of these other things. I don't know if we've made tataki before. Let's get some meat and milk, some shrimp. We've definitely made pandori. Um, I'm pretty sure we've made that before. I wish I wish I could. I wish I could tell. I mean, I guess we can just go through and like cook all of them and then sell them and then rest and then, you know, that kind of thing. That seems like a really annoying sort of gameplay loop <laughs> to do in order to get through all the foods when they could have just included sort of a list. <laughs> um, there's the fisherman over here where we can get shrimp from. You're a true fisherman now. Thanks, man. I want that big boy, whatever that is. What is that? Oh. Well, we're doing something else first, I guess. A bone pike. I want to know what this is. Fuck. I just don't remember there being a fish that big. No! Give me the other one. Stop it. Thanks for the work, Kenny. I appreciate it. You're amazing. Fucking ghost urgen. <laughs> Whatever, I'm done here. We do also need to figure out where that last treasure is. Um, well, I don't feel like just rotely going through and cooking everything. No, can we not do that, actually? There we go. Uh, so I say we go to down here. We still need to progress further, apparently. Not, we are not far enough for Still Pond Island. I guess we go to, didn't, um, that place was on Sleeper Island, right? The Moorlands? Right? Or was that on our home island. No, I think, it, I think it was up here. I'm fairly certain. I think it was closer to this side than the other side. Beep, beep. You don't want to fight me. Come on. Don't, don't put that on yourself. You don't want any of this smoke. <laughs> Does anybody else remember exactly where we're going? I feel like we're going this way. I remember it being somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. I know what I'm doing. It seems we have everything now. You know about this thing? Yeah, exactly, right? Yes, the great alchemist told me about the chronophage while he was working on my living glass form. Rashan left us something? The chronophage is his parting gift to you. It was enchanted to activate in response to your initial deeds as up-and-coming guardian gods. A gift? That is how he described it. I got the sense that he wished to take responsibility for something. It should take us somewhere. All I know is how to open it, and that only Valerie, Zale, and I can go. 
Are you sure this is safe? Yes, the great alchemist could have stopped you at any time if he if that had been his wish. Chronomancy, yeah. <laughs> the most powerful magic of all. <clears throat> Chronomancy. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> I'm so excited to like rewatch because I've got to rewatch Fantasy High before. I I've also never seen sophomore year, um, so I've got to I've got to watch that before junior year comes out. How do we open this gift? You must provide the memento of a happy memory. Hmm. He said you would know the memento of a happy memory. Cookie jar. We've been carrying that around since we were children. Garl brought us, Garl snuck into the place and brought us cookies. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. We, yeah, when we were like five. Yeah. I fully forgot what that was from. Also, it's it's wild that this... Fuck, <laughs> my mic stand. It is wild that this game is able to make me remember something that happened 40 fucking hours ago. More than that, like 50 hours ago in gameplay. Uh, that is that specific, cause yeah, that, man. It worked. We should go now while it's active. And it be impactful, exactly. Be safe out there. I'll be here when you return. So what do we think this is? I have no idea. I have no predictions. It, it, it was shaped the same as that portal that he used <coughs> when he was in this in this moment. Are we gonna go actually fight the Fleshmancer through this? Chronomancy, are we gonna... Could we save Garl? We can't save Garl, because, like, all of the sleeper stuff happened with Garl. <laughs> that was how we got to the Sea of Stars in the first place. Th these are time crystals. Eggford is one of my top characters with the halflings for peak. Yeah. The fucking, <laughs> fucking communist halflings. Or the, wait, no, it was, were they gnomes or halflings? I can't remember. Time shards. You guys remember this moment. This is when Garl was sentenced to death, effectively. Could be anarcho... Yeah, socialist, yeah. You always were the better artist. What are we doing here? Huh? This is... Is it a vision? The great alchemist. He placed an anchor in time so that you could return here. I know what my role is. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, no! You can't do that, though! <coughs> <coughs> you No! What? Yeah. His will is strong. I don't know if it's strong enough to take a hit from the fucking Fleshmancer. I take it back. This game is trash. You should start a new game like now. <laughs> oh, God. You must act now before the diversion is over. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't leave me buried under the tree for too long, okay? <laughs> Is he gonna take Garl's form too? He can hold any form he concentrates on. It was him the whole time.
They set it up so that Garl never died in the first place. Straight up, the way that scene was originally framed, we never saw the rest of the party while, while they had that conversation. That makes perfect canon sense. What happened? Wait, is that... Huh? <laughs> Nani? <coughs> Oh, I feel so bad for how much I'm coughing and chill. <laughs> the music! I need a cough drop. Fuck yeah, man! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Don't just stand there. What are you waiting for? <laughs> God, it's, it's so good to see you. Is this real? Sure is. <laughs> Guys, I've been watching all along. I'm so proud of you. Everything you've accomplished. It's unbelievable. Hey, where's Best? Oh, right. Uh, we should go now. Our reunion can wait. Are you well enough to travel? <laughs> Never better. Our boy's back! All right, let's go dig up my grave. I can wait to meet. I can't wait to meet my savior. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Everything worked out. There's an ad starting in two minutes. Everyone, <laughs> subscribe if you want to skip it. Otherwise, just hang out through the ad. I won't. Uh, I'll pause when we get there. Sorry, you had to wait to <laughs> wait all this time. I thought it'd be instantaneous or something. Anyway, thanks again, Best. Please, don't mention it. Put him on the spa, right? You're totally right, Purple. No way. I owe you big time. Guys, I... There's so much I wish I could share. I'm not allowed to talk about what I saw on the other side, but... When I came back, they said they would grant me one wish. Did you pick a good one? Sure did, but it can wait. I want to be the one cooking for it for tonight. My wish demands a bit of an errand, though, so we don't have to go for it if you don't have time. I'll tell you at camp later if you want. Hell yeah. <coughs> I am fine with that. If there's a way you're gonna fucking DSX Machina like a favorite character back, that is the way to do it. I'm good with that. I'm 100% fine with that happening. <laughs> Technically, yeah, Garl didn't ride the dragon. I, yeah, he needed Valerie and Zale to be ready for something. Yeah, he needed them to go through that trauma so that they could ascend. They could sort of leave their worldly worries behind and ascend and become Luana and Solon. Yeah, Garl technically saw best Garl ride a dragon. Because he was, like, on the other side, whatever that means. Yeah, right? I agree with you. I will see you all on the other side of the ad. This is too good. It's great. <laughs> now, even I think the party felt incomplete without Garl. <laughs> slurp, slurp. He does grow on people fast. Best, how did it feel when you took the blast? <clears throat> Purposeful. Like I was doing the right thing. We're forever indebted to you for that. You brought hope to my world and crowned me champion of the arena. As far as I'm concerned, it is I who still owes you. That's fucking awesome. Let's cook. 
<coughs> okay. Um, I think we had made yakitori shrimp before. What was the one we decided we hadn't made yet? I don't know if we had made the champion's omelet before. We did end up making that one. We still need meat and milk for the lasagna. I think that's the only one we haven't made. I'm fairly certain that's the only one we haven't made. <coughs> we've got... Well, we've got nine shrimp. Do we need that for the uh, thingamajig? No, we don't need shrimp for that. Just in case. I'll see if we've made one of those. Shrimp party! I agree. <coughs> shrimp time! Um, let's rest. Okay, it's only 9.38. I'm down to go on this for quite a while, um, if y'all are. Everyone ain't slept better that night than they had since the fight against the Dweller of Strife. Um, I'm going to cut the intermission real quick. It's going to look like the intro screen, though, because I realized that um, uh, the the sound-alike that I did, the like MIDI, always look on the bright side of life thing that I did for the intermission, is... Um, it still gets picked up by content ID for some reason because the melody is is exact. So um, I don't know why that's happening, but we're going to cut to intro again for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. There we go. And we're back. Oh, shit. <laughs> the fucking joke thing. Uh, yes, it does kind of look like the back rooms. That was one of the inspirations for that um, for that little uh, sequence there. It was a, a combination of that and, like, the Monty Python um, sort of, like, papercraft animation uh, things. Um, that sort of, like, stop motion stuff that they did in a lot of their stuff. Um, that and the, like, like dithered, sort of JPEGified... Um, almost like PS1 aesthetic of the games that I think like really brought my channel to life, like the like Resident Evil 1, uh, that sort of thing. So that's what that's what it was going to going for. <laughs> Listening to the universe song from Meaning of Life a lot today. Oh, that reminds me, we have a song to react to. I completely forgot about that. Thank you. Um let me um <laughs> I'll I'll ping <laughs> TJ. Uh <laughs> there we go. Uh, TJ asked us to react to a song and I just <laughs> ah! <laughs> and I just remembered um should we watch the video? oh it looks like it's just like a thumbnail you know what I'll pull up the video so that um, we have something to look at while we're doing this there we go okay let's ever heard Hatsune Miku over a Phrygian mode. That's wild. This is like if if Opeth did Miku or like 
I guess maybe it's most similar to like baby metal or something, but. to disparagement but it also feels very like garage band like everything is is extremely midi like it doesn't sound like they're using midi instruments it sounds like they're using like a sampler instrument joe do you remember when you wrote a chromatic guitar solo in garage band on something we worked on together one of those sound fonts is giving me flashbacks <laughs> oh my god yeah that sounds right i was just <laughs> i guarantee the lyrics or something sad and messed up yeah totally So we're going from that like Phrygian minor thing. Bum bum. So that's a um uh what is that? What do they what do they call that? A, a tritone substitution, I think is what you call that. It's that like major move.
I'd be really interested to know where they got the samples from that they're using. Because this is not like MIDI instruments that they're using. This is a sampler that they're using and they're triggering it with MIDI. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Ridiculous. Uh, well, that was on Maretu, M-A-R-E-T-U, their channel. I don't know what any of this says, but it was cool. <laughs> Can I translate it? Hatsune Miku Uminaoshi original. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation, TJ. That was very good. I enjoyed that. It scratched my brain in a nice way, which is always good. Translates to seaside, I think. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny uh, how, like, J-Metal does that, uh, where they'll have, like, just, I don't know, like, really pretty lyrics or uh, a really pretty song title or something, and then it's just, like, the most, like, chaotic or, like, disgusting metal grooves you've ever heard. Or they, they often do the opposite, where it's, like, uh, you know, something really, really pretty, but the lyrics are just fucking disturbing about ripping your soul out. And, you know, I need a whole playlist of nothing but this genre of music, to be honest. I heard it today, and it's in my brain forever. Yeah. all the My only, like, touchstone for that is, like, Kiari Pamyu Pamyu and, like, baby metal. Um, but that's, like as far as I have ever gotten into that, like, branch of music. Um. <laughs> Remember Vine? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much all I can think of in that vein. Well, and, uh, because I was actually listening to the Death Note soundtrack the other day, um, uh, Maximum the Hormone, they don't quite get that cute with the vocals, Although there are some songs where they do for a little bit because their drummer sings and she's got like that sort of cutesy Miku-esque voice. Um, but uh, they'd be another one to check out. Maximum the Hormone. <clears throat> okay. Uh, everyone ate and slept, slept better that night uh, than they had since the fight against the Dweller of Strife. Anamanaguchi from back... True! Yeah, Anamanaguchi did actually do some weird stuff like that. Choo Choo Lovely and Muni Muni Mura Mura. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what is here that the game would want us to be doing? I'm trying to think of what is in... Because this is the like very first area of the game. Are we going back... Should we be going backwards or forwards from here? Is what I'm wondering. I'm going backwards purely on instinct. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm like I'm wondering if it wants us to head back to our sort of old stomping grounds. But also it kind of seems like they were implying that like we were in the town and then now we've left and we're heading out here to go do something else. You know? I mean, we can go wherever we want. <clears throat> Was there anything, um... Yeah, at Evermist Island Landing that we haven't checked out. I guess not. Oh, yeah, because that part of the mountain trail goes to the Evermist thing. Do we want to check in on Best in the Evermist? And see if there's any updates there? I mean, that just happened, but who knows, right? Another? Okay. I guess there's no one here. I don't really want to go to the trials. Okay. 
Let's just, um, let's go... Where do we need to go next? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think we go back to Mirth and we... We do that. If it'll let us go to the island in the south, like if it says that we can do something with that now, then we'll go there first. Treasure left. I'm gonna go there. We can worry about Garl in the spa in a little bit. That is a priority for me though. <laughs> It no longer says we need to advance, so let's see what's what's going on here. There's something shiny in there now. Do you think we need to land right on the thing? A little further. Oops. I went early again. Damn it. Nope. I'm gonna feel really silly if this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing here. I landed right on the thing. It's shining in everything. Hmm. We already got this guy over here, this uh, rainbow conch. Do I have to be more exact? Also, this thing off to the side reminds me of those, like, little whirlpools we used to get it in and out of the Dokari homes. And I'm wondering if there's something under the water here that we're going to go. Yeah, I was right on it. Mm. I don't know. This game and its timing... Yeah, that's, that's as exact as one can get. Okay. We swam out to it and everything, I guess. Let's chew on that one for a little bit, and we'll see if anything develops. That's very strange. I don't like it. Beep, boop, beep, beep, burr. Where's fucking... <laughs> Where's the island Mirth is on again? It's that one, right? Basalt Island? <laughs> I keep forgetting where it is. Did we use that? We did, yeah. What am I doing? Where are we? We're so fast. We're too fast. Wait, it wasn't Basalt Island. Where's... Oh, Settler's Island. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Not dumb. I just forgot where the place was. I wonder if they sell... They've got to sell meat at the shop here, right? Because it's the one ingredient we can't... We don't have, like, a regular source of. And it's the one we need to make that last food. We need uh, meat and milk. Where's the shop? I don't remember. Is it this one? There we go. Equipment shop. We already have one of those. Item shop. There we go. Give me 
Oh, yeah, I could use that. Give me some dairy. Nope, don't want that much. That's a lot of dairy. I'm lactose intolerant. Meat. Lots of meat. There we go. <coughs> okay, spa. Let's save. And then spa for Garl. So much for the lactose intolerance. <laughs> It's a good joke, Zach. Good job. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Your pun game is never to be questioned. <laughs> yeah, Garl hasn't gone in the spa. Is Garl sweet on Serai? I mean, I'm down with it. I was kind of hoping that Serai and uh, Valerie would be lesbians, but that's okay. <laughs> Garl has been sort of bear coded for me this whole time, but uh, you know, I'm fine with him being. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll say we'll say all of them are canonically pansexual. I think that that makes me happy. And you know what? It is valid to have heterosexual relationships when you're pan. Uh, it turns out uh, a lot of a lot of queer people don't like it when you date heterosexually <laughs> when you are <laughs> pan. People are weird about that on, on online. You shouldn't pay attention to what those people say. An adventuring party is just poly armory. Zach, I love you. <laughs> the pun game, off the charts. Um, I could swear there was a fire somewhere in town where we could cook. Is it this one? Can you cook here? I just don't want to have to leave the town to cook every time. I guess, I guess not. Oh yeah, the crypt had updates. Um, oh, but that was in the future. We should check on the crypt in this timeline just to be sure. I mean, some people get weird about hetero pairing with bi couples. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Those people suck. Not the not the bi people who are dating heterosexually, but like the people who are weird about uh, the people who try to invalidate bi people. <clears throat> I say that because I somehow always end up dating femme people. Um, you know, uh, and that's just like outwardly, uh, there have been people in my sort of sphere, not people I would call friends anymore, but people in my past who were rather invalidating about that. <clears throat> and it's annoying. And I hate when I see it online. It pisses me off. <clears throat> yeah. Because love is love, man. It's just fucking, you know, this is the way it is. I don't think I quite understand what those two sexualities are. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, we did that. Um, let's rest and talk to Garl. Let's see what's up with that. Maybe, maybe Garl will have some information that will help us with the thingamajig. And he did say he had a whole side, side quest to give us, so. <clears throat> Should not have resurrection on my list when we started our adventure. <laughs> One more fatigue storybook, I guess. <coughs> True. Seriously, though, it did get kind of scary. Thanks for pulling me out of there. I knew activating the chronophage took a lot of effort. We'd have done it faster if we knew. And come on, you'd do the same for us. In a heartbeat. Oh, right. There's this thing I wanted to share. So, I'm not allowed to talk about what I saw on the other side, but when it became clear that I would return, I was allowed to make a single wish. As hit author Chuck Tingle says, love is real. True. <laughs> right. What did you ask for? Dinner with all my friends at the Golden Pelican. That's what that's for! I was wondering. That's the invitation we needed. Oh, yeah? 
<laughs> sure did. I'm going to host my own reverse funeral, and I want the best food there is. <laughs> I like this guy. Thing is, though, I'm not too sure how it works. All I was given was this fishing hook. There we go. There we go. The fucking hook of time. I'm attracted to both men and women. What? You, how dare you date? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, now we know. We needed the fucking thingamajig. God damn it. Let's get out of here. Let's fucking... We're done. Oh, we can cook, actually. We should cook that, um... Lasagna. I enjoy waffles and pancakes, but that's a lot of carbs, and I can't eat both at the same time. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's very good, Zach. <laughs> Hooked on photons. Yeah, or fucking, uh, what, what are they called? It's not, uh, what's the, what's the one that goes backwards? Tachyons. They don't actually go backwards, but, you know, that's the whole sci-fi thing about them. Uh, there's an ad starting in three minutes. If you want to skip it, you can subscribe. You can use a Twitch sub. You can use Twitch Turbo. Uh, or you can just hang out and vibe through them. Do you remember how to vibe, Daniel? That's an Amnesia the Dark Descent reference. <laughs> and if you'd like to watch me play Amnesia the Dark Descent with Alex, you can go to the VODs channel. If you're not already subscribed to the VODs channel, you should go subscribe to the VODs channel. Okay, that's all. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm talking about it so much. I'm just, I'm very excited to like finally have a plan over there. Hell yeah. <laughs> First try. I feel like we are being told to do a thing. <laughs> Novella, subscribe? Oh shit! Thank you, Novella, I appreciate that. Hell yeah. That puts us uh, one person away from my subscriber goal, uh, which is 12, which I think, I think the reason that was my goal is because that gets us like more stuff for the channel, like more uh, emotes or something. I don't know. It gets us subscriber points, which is cool. And I appreciate you, Novale. It means a lot. <coughs> okay. Sorry, Garl. I'm gonna have to swap you out immediately <laughs> with Best. Um, because I need Best to do damage. I was dancing around the idea, and I was just like, screws it. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh, that only does... Oh, yeah, it does do two. Okay, cool. Oof. Welcome back, bud. Now get out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what does this do? It's locked. Got a very Dokari look to this whole area. Interesting. Ooh, I love that whatever drum that is they're using. It sounds like just like a conga or something. Hey, this is the, uh, that's the treasure chest we were missing. So now we've gotten all of the treasure chests in the game. Yeah, that would, that would have been the one. So I'm going to swap out for Garl because I got to have my boy with me. go. Ow. Girl, why don't you give him a cooker surprise? It's been a while. Ad is starting soon. I will see you all on the other side. Hell yeah. Let's rang on him. <coughs> Nothing like ranging with friends, you know? Sometimes I just need a good rang with the butt with the with the boys. Rank gang rise up, yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay, well we got the key. <laughs> hashtag rank gang. I need to get we need to get hashtag rank gang trending. <laughs> Can we do that? Is that a thing? 
Can we tell everyone to tweet hashtag Rangang with their favorite memory of a close friend? <laughs> just some friends ranging, just tossing it around. Yeah. The glowing one is the key. All you have to do is catch it. Okay. There's a fish-shaped keyhole behind the statue. Can I jump in here? I can. Okay, that's gonna open up some kind of door or something. What does swimming in the water do? Can I get these boys to move around or anything? Nothing special in there. Okay, cool. We just catch the golden fish. That's what we gotta do. Uh, do we wanna catch some smaller ones first or just... Just whip out your rang and show your friends how to properly hold it before a proper ranging. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you do want to make sure you're communicating proper... What the fuck? Do I have to land directly on it? I mean, I was right there. Go ahead, let's get this other one. I do love ranging. I'm a bit of a rang goon myself. <laughs> <coughs> Zach, are you a crab rangoon or are you a uh, are you a cheese rangoon? <laughs> I swear, Twitch is so confusing with how they word things. Yeah, rang etiquette and rang consent are important. I agree. It's it's extremely important. It's it's always important to make sure you're communicating uh, sort of the your desired uh, ranging pace. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking this one fish. I once had an emote for that Rangoon bit. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, that's as close as I can get. Fight the thing. Why are you like this? Do I need to catch all of the fish before I catch you? Do I just need to be patient? No, that's not working. Come on, come get it. Okay, something, something's happening here. Do I need to land right on it like the other thing? That's right on it. it. I can't use my grapple in water. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's why catch is in quotes. I was like, please don't let that be the answer. I hate that. <coughs> Silly dungeon. I do love that it's guarded by these fish guys that we that we can easily destroy in like a few hits. <coughs> that makes me very happy. I wouldn't have it any other way. <coughs> Legitimately trolling players. No, I think that was uh I wouldn't call it trolling, but I would uh fuck me. I would fuck me. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> ranging with strangers is also another avenue for proper ranging. True, you can. This is this is a valid way to rang. Interesting. Is there anything down there? No. Strange. I mean, I guess I know there aren't going to be any other treasure chests. 
So is this the case of two gods and then there is Garl, the man, myth, and the legend? I think so. I think you're right. <coughs> Fuck me. I'm sorry, y'all. Just means I can't do Garl's voice anymore. Okay, we got more fishing. Interesting. What happens if I run into this? Nothing. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Come back here. Eh. 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 Come on. Come on. That's a big ass fish. Oi. Even if you have a range a ranging partner, you can find other ranging groups <laughs> who can rank with each other. Pineapples can be a delicious ranging treat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. I'm trying to find a way to work like munch into Rang, and I can't. I can't figure out how to. I can't figure out how to make it work. Well, well, well. Look what you've gone and done. <laughs> hey, Mister. Sorry, it's just I was given this. <laughs> Easy now, son. I'm leaving this conversation. He's got a little pipe. <clears throat> there's one thing I know for sure. It's that you need the hook of time to get in here. And if there's another thing I know for sure. So that they don't just show up and get just up and give the hook of time to anyone. He is so cool. I just asked, really. Right. Look, I get it. I also got to return. Point is, uh, fuck, I didn't read that. Oh, I didn't. I don't know about that. The oblivious type, huh? Fine, I'll bite. It's funny because he's a fish. Gonna need that plot hook. It sounds like. What exactly did you ask for? I just wanted dinner with my friends at the Golden Pelican in Brisk. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now, that does change everything, doesn't it? Do you know about the place? Know about it. I built it myself. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit! Chef Bass, at your service. Oh, my God. No way, you're the chef? In the flesh. So, can we have the dinner? <laughs> You're quite the disappointment if I said no at this point, huh? You and your friends are officially invited. How many will be attending? Six? It's your wish, son, you tell me. The whole village of mirth? <laughs> this is too much. Okay, let's see. Definitely all of us here. Malcolmud, Teeks, the pirates. Yeah. Moraine probably would show up. Good on you for making it count. Right on. How does it work? Do we just show up at the Golden Pelican? And then you gave give this to Gaspar. Gilded invitation. <laughs> you got it. They didn't need to make him go that hard. That's fucking awesome. You think that's gonna bring us back to the beginning? Probably, right? Hey, you remember what I said about those pools? They make me think of the, the things that you get in and out of the Dukari homes with? Huh? Is one of those! I was right. <coughs> yeah, the bubble pipe is perfect. You know, I was watching my- I was watching some of my, uh, VODs as I was uploading them. <coughs> and I watched the- I watched p bits and pieces of the first Sea of Stars stream the other day. Um... And, uh... Where is... That's in Brisk, yeah. Um, and I was just thinking it makes perfect sense that I would be... <coughs> this under the weather. 
for potentially the last Sea of Stars stream. Uh, because in the very first Sea of Stars, Stars stream, I was also fucking dying the whole time. <clears throat> okay, we're going up here. We gotta go to the middle of town. Oh, actually, I don't think we can get there from this thing. I think we gotta go through the middle, um... Uh, staircase. Did we get all of the, um, things? Yeah, okay. We did. I just making sure we had all the recipes. It's gonna really piss me off if we have to uh, just go through and recook all of the meals in the game to make sure that we've cooked everything. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Pelican. Did you have a reservation for today? <coughs> oh, a private invitation from our chef. We'll need proper attire for this special occasion. Please gather the other guests. Our tailors will be right with you. <laughs> Oh, uh, we get fucking fancy clothes now? And a bow tie, please. Excellent choice, sir. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it'll look great on you. See, gay. His looks like a cowboy. Please tell me we get to wear these outfits for the rest of the game, whatever they are. Oh my god. Anything for you, pal. <laughs> There's a reason why Fancy ain't my middle name, but it's like Valtrade said. This is so special. <laughs> yeah, so dapper. <clears throat> Little Malcolmud there with his fucking combed over here. <clears throat> How does he keep the food from getting wet as it goes in and out of the water? Does he keep it in his mouth? Because <clears throat> that's pretty gross. <clears throat> it looks so eloquent. Yeah. Anything else you need, just let me know. Garl with his hair slicked back. I love that he's still got the, the fucking cowlick up front. You gotta do the honors, pal. <laughs> Tradition? Okay, Moraine's gonna give some speech or something, because that's what he's good at. Just thinking about that. I like the idea of two gods attending a feast with mortal friends. Uh, I think I think just two at this point. Well, yeah, I mean I guess Reshon is kind of godlike. Although he's not technically a god. He just has godlike powers. I mean, neither are Valerie or Zale. They've just, like, ascended... They've just sort of taken up the mantle of godhood. It's almost like a Chim situation, but not really. We're gathered here today to mark the return of someone truly special. Oh, we're not gonna see a whole speech. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to listen to Moraine talk for very long anyways. And then they let me keep the fort. Oh, that sure was nice of them. And you repaid this kindness a thousandfold. As a bit of an elemental mage myself, I must say your work there was quite the impressive feat.
Yeah. See, this stuff, I don't know what, uh, because I missed a few things in the entire beginning. Yeah, you're totally fine. <laughs> We'd do more if we could. Oh my god, I love her dress. I mean, we're only seeing a bit of it, but that's very cool. Keenison. <laughs> you would. Were they bringing me back to life? I'd like to see that. <laughs> Zale does look like a cowboy. That's fine. Is TJ still watching? TJ, here you go. <laughs> In spite of it all, you still have it gave a whole lot more than you took, son. Good on you. Tagarl. I can't believe how lucky I am to have all of you. I guess the final battle awaits. But we can worry about that tomorrow. Let's just make the best of this moment. Uh, Gasper? Tagarl! Is it too late now for me to make a toast? This is your moment? Great. Okay, let's see here. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, my dear friends, for joining me in celebration. Tonight, I raise my glass above my heart to Teeks for her unwavering support and unquenchable thirst for knowledge. To Malcomud for teaching us that one can always turn their life around, no matter their age. To Yolanda, Valtrade, and Keenathan for their spirit of adventure, and for always keeping their eyes on the target, no matter how dire things got. To Moraine for standing firm in the face of insurmountable grief, and never wavering in his faith in my friends. Well, he did he did actually waver quite a bit in his faith, but, you know. We don't like Moraine here. To Serai, for enduring the impossible and being the coolest person I know. To Rashan and Best, for saving my life. <laughs> and finally, to Valerie and Zale, for getting me out of Moon Cradle and letting me travel the world to enter, encounter countless wonders. But most importantly, for being the best friends anyone could ask for. Hell yeah. Yeah, right? I want to see detail on those outfits. We can cook a legendary feast now. I bet that's the last thing we haven't cooked. I guarantee you that's the last thing we haven't cooked. I'm I'm absolutely positive I have cooked everything else in the game. <coughs> yeah, right? It's so wholesome. Okay. Do we have space in our inventory for that? We have 10 out of 10. Let's eat something. <laughs> We're gonna eat that. There we go. I should have eaten something cheaper. That was dumb. But whatever. <sighs> oh my god. Sorry, y'all. I just need to get to a place with a fire. So I can cook. Ooh, comfy. Can I make it? Fuck. What do I need? I need shrimp! Yo, we need shrimp. Mm. I think they sell shrimp at the shop here in Brisk. I'm fairly certain. If not, we can head back to Mirth. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just more of like a mechanical thing. They don't want you like doing they, they want to sort of section off parts of the game from other parts of the game so that it feels like a more cohesive experience okay not there there's equipment not there i could have sworn there was a fishmonger here um maybe inside maybe they said they have fish No. 
Okay, well, I guess we're I guess we're leaving. Shrimpment. <clears throat> I could have sworn there was a fishmonger here in town. Going to mirth. Not there. Um. Yeah. Yeah, literally, in this case. <laughs> the only other fishmonger I know of is over here. I mean, there, there are places to get shrimp, like, from certain fish at the various ponds, but I don't remember which ponds have which. So, we'll just go here. I think three was all we needed. Okay, now we can go out here. I'm gonna save again. And we're gonna rest. And we're gonna cook. There we go. Make it happen. Hell yeah. Garl's ultimate recipe. Nope, not cooking, we're resting. <laughs> okay, now we need to get back on our boat so that we can check our quest progress. going here, and we're entering the boat, and we're going to check the little book that shows what we've done. It'd be really cool if there was a unique animation for the Legendary Feast. Yeah, that would be cool. I think it was a, it was like a combination of a few that we've seen. Down toward the bottom, right? New Garl Plus, fulfill the ultimate wish. We did that. Find every single treasure. We still haven't cooked every recipe. Fuck me. Okay. <sighs> I hate this. We're gonna have to look it up. Oh my god, this article is gonna... <laughs> I hate these things. Okay, um, let me pull up a new notepad. So you guys don't have to see the messy one that I'm using right now. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! These allergies are gonna be the death of me. Okay, so... Berry Jam is the first one. Yeah, thank you. Herbed fillet. Fuck, where's my mouse? <laughs> okay, I'm... There we go. Can I... No, I can't see my mouse like that anyways. Okay, you guys will just have to trust me that I'm writing down these <laughs> these things. Uh, herbed fillet. That is also given to you automatically. Basic salad is given to you automatically. <laughs> tomato club, which I've mentioned before, I actually don't know if we ever made a tomato club because I said at the beginning of the game that we weren't ever going to make one. Uh, and that was before I knew that we had to make all of the recipes in the game. So we might actually have missed that one. Uh, Papillot. Risk. Or Lucent Traders. Uh, Bull Base. What'd you say? We hear nice keyboard sounds. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> I'm glad they're nice keyboard sounds and not bad keyboard sounds. Because they could be bad keyboard sounds, but I have good keyboard opinions. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, you get that one from Lake Takari, which we do have. Peach Strudel, which we also have. Cloud Kingdom Store. Custard. Mirth Shop. Yakitori Shrimp. That's from the Rapine Shop. I'm writing down their locations too, so I don't have to look them up again. Uh, Lost Ones Hamlet. I don't remember that one, but we do have Pandore, so we must have... Oh, the Lost Ones Hamlet was underneath Brisk, right? That was that secret place we got to? <laughs> Gourmet Burger was also from Lost Ones Hamlet. Yeah, and we purchased both of those, because we've made those. Surf and Turf Tataki. I don't know that we have that one. I don't think we have that one, do we? That was from the Skybase vending machine. We're gonna have to go back there. Lasagna. It's from Fleshmancer's Lair. Braze was from Fleshmancer's, Fleshmancer's Lair. <laughs> Fuck. Type, Joe. Chaudre. It's from the Mountain Trail, which we did get. Mushroom Scramble. It was from the Elder Mist Trials, and we did get that. This article spells it Mushroom Scamble. Uh, which is, you know, giving me a lot of faith in their sort of quality of their research. <laughs> Mushroom Soup is from the Moorlands Cave, which we have gotten. Truly scambulous. <laughs> scambulous. Yeah. <laughs> Hearty Stew. I know we have that one because I've said it in a pirate voice before. That in the flooded graveyard, moon cradle fish pie. You get from the haunted mansion. <laughs> Poutine. Conch shop. Parfait. Pickles. What about pickles? Pudding Shomer, we just got that. I don't know if we've made that one yet. I think we I think we made it immediately after we got it. <laughs> we've definitely made sashimi before, because that kind of became a regular thing for us. You get that from the derelict factory. Champion's omelette. Omelette. Which we have definitely made a lot of. You get that from the Sacrosanct Spires. And Legendary Feast. You get it from the Golden Pelican. I think that's all of them. Okay. That article then went on to talk about Honkai Star Rail. I don't know why that was relevant to... <laughs> uh to cooking in Sea of Stars, but here we go. Here is all of our all of our thingamajigs that we're looking for. Okay. Um You know every food in the whole world. Now I do. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through and we're going to go to Mirth, where we can be at the shop, and I'm gonna sell all of our food. And then I'm gonna go through and make every recipe one by one, just to make sure. 
Thank you. I appreciate the applause. I needed that, honestly. I will see you all on the other side of the ad. I didn't know there was an ad coming. Oh, we were uh, we were right outside Mirth already. I forgot. Let me. Let me in. Okay, so we're gonna sell all our food first. Actually, I'm, I'm I might sell all of it. Some of the some of the food is a little too much of a pain to get all the ingredients for. So we might we might keep one or two things. We're gonna keep both of the legendary feasts, um, and probably that. Uh, yeah, we can sell all the rest. Okay. Yeah, see, like, if this was a fire, we could cook there, but we can't. That's annoying. <laughs> can I... Can I make it nighttime? What if I make it nighttime? No. Still can't cook there. It would just be nice to not have to leave town to cook, you know? Let the man cook. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. One less loading screen would be nice. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's it's just that. It's just, it'd be nice to not have that loading screen. Okay. We have the stuff to make berry jam. We can make berry jam. Oh, no, I only want to make one. I think we have the stuff to make herbed filet as well. Okay, herbed filet, which we've definitely made before, but we're just going through. Basic salad. Tomato club. Roast sandwich. Okay. Papillot. We've definitely made before, but just in case, I'm making all of them again. And a uh, boule base to top it all off. Can we do one of those? No, we still need stuff for that. Okay, we need more shrimp. I'm going to mark these off. And put a big X by them. I've done all of those up to boule base. We're about a quarter of the way into our list. Uh, I was going to ask if you were going to leave the tomato club for last, but I suppose not. Yeah, <laughs> no. No, I'm not, not sentimental about it or anything. Yeah, I feel like we're definitely going to talk to Reshawn again at some point. I think Reshawn might show up when we do the final boss fight again. And uh, and maybe fight with us because of whatever bullshit uh, we have caused cosmically. Um, I say we head over to. Oh, actually, I need to see in our menu if we have the surf and turf tataki. Because I don't think we do. Oh, we do. Okay, I did get that. I don't think I've made that one before. <laughs> exactly, Cosmic BS is the best BS. Um, okay, let's get some shrimp for that bowl of uh, We'll sell all of these foods that we have made and we'll craft some more. And if we need to go somewhere to grab more stuff, we can do that. We have so many ingredients. You don't even know. Look at all these ingredients we have. It's crazy. 
I am a little mad that I sold all of my things earlier to get my inventory down to a manageable level, because I really didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay, um, let's sell these. Okay. Get that shrimp. May as well grab the fish, too, because we'll need more stuff. Oh, it hasn't replenished yet. You beat a world eater with ease. Now the real challenge begins. Well, we haven't beaten a world eater, actually. We've beaten a dweller. Um, but we haven't actually fought a world eater yet. Um, presumably, Valerie and Zale in... Well, we're still the Valerie and Zale from that timeline. Yeah, so we haven't gone on to defeat a world eater. But that is a thing that we intend to do at some point. That was like, I, I think that's, that's what I was saying. I think that's what Reshon was training us for. I think he's going to probably help us because we now have the ability to, to face a world eater. And we're the first Solstice Warriors to have that ability. Yeah, we beat a dweller. Yeah. There we go. That's what I was looking for. God damn it. Those, give me those chonky boys back there. I need you for shrimp. Yeah, give me shrimp. I love that chord progression there. That just little chromatic fall down and then... It descends to the minor and then it, it resolves. It's really nice. Okay, we camp again. We cook some more. We make it the bullet bays. We need peaches, actually. I don't know if we have any peaches. Because we need to make peach strudel. Do I have this stuff for Peach Strudel? I don't, damn it. Okay. Well, we'll mark Bola Bays off. Do we have the stuff for Costad? We don't. Oh, we need eggs. That's what we need. Need eggs. I put on my notes. Uh, Yakitori shrimp? I need more shrimp. Eggs. And shrimp. Uh, Pondore also needs eggs. We need so many eggs. Gourmet burger. Can I make that one? I can make a gourmet burger. <clears throat> Can I make the surf and turf tataki? <coughs> this is regular tataki. Why is that not on the list? Regular tataki wasn't on the list. I think I think it's just called regular tataki there. Yeah, it's like they didn't have room to put surf and turf tataki. Okay, so we'll do that. Nice. Okay, so that's two more down. Lasagna. Riveting content this is. <laughs> uh, we've made a braise, but we're going to make it again. So we need more meat. Shrimp and meat. Um, okay, chaudry. Chaudry. We need milk. Mushroom scramble. 
eggs, mushroom soup, needs milk. Okay, I already know I need those things for that. Hardy stew needs meat, which I already have on the list. Moon cradle fish pie needs eggs and milk. Okay, poutine. We've definitely made poutine before, but... Where's that? Needs milk. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, parfait. These all sound very good. They do. Also needs milk. Pudding show more? I don't know how to pronounce that. Also needs milk. We need so much milk. Sashimi. There we go. Uh, and then the champion's omelet needs eggs. We've got plenty of all the other stuff. We just need eggs, milk, shrimp, and meat. Uh, legendary feast needs shrimp, meat, and milk. Okay. Yeah, okay. We are good to make everything. We just need to find eggs, milk, shrimp, and meat. I now have the emote. You do! We love Dr. Coomer. With the crickets in the background, it's very nice. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad the crickets are loud enough that you guys can actually hear them. I've been trying more often to do to not do that thing where I turn the game down so low that you guys can't hear it at all. Because, <laughs> like, yes, I do like my voice being a lot louder than the game, but I've realized that, uh, especially working, like, with the VODs and stuff, that, um, uh, yeah, it's... It's not a fun listening experience for you guys if all you can hear is my voice. <laughs> Especially when the games have, like, this great of sound design and soundtracks and everything. Yeah. Um, okay. We need a place to buy things. Did this shop have... I think this shop had meat and milk. Did our shop in Mirth have any ingredients? I don't think they did, did they? I don't remember what they sold. It sucks that they, that we don't have a place we can go to just get stuff from everywhere. That would be really nice. Oh, not that guy, this one. I like fully walked by the obvious grocer. <laughs> yeah, Coomer's in the chat. Okay, we need so much egg. <laughs> We're gonna get, yeah, I think that's good. Egg. I think that's good. We need meat. G -g 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 combo breaker. <laughs> I actually had no idea I had combos turned on in stream elements. You guys can totally do combos. That's cool. It, it clearly won't call it out in my little, uh, my feed up there, which sucks, but it calls it out in stream chat, which is, that's cool. Bounce. Yeah, if we could get to the point where we, where we are, like, we are comboing emotes all the time, that would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be very impressed. Okay, um, we need a shop that sells meat. Do you think maybe our hometown might have that? <laughs> we may as well check. <laughs> that would be a fun game to see just how, how long you guys could go spamming the same emotes. <laughs> Oh, I can set up camp here. Okay, well, if this place has the ingredients that I need, that'll be really helpful. Okay, where was the shop in town? It was like on the left side, I think? Or is this the shrine? No, this is the like tavern thing. There's a shop somewhere here. This is like the farmer or whatever. 
Do you sell things? No. I need meat! Somebody sell, somebody sell me meat. Somebody give me their meat. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Talking to the villagers about Garl. I heard Garl was back talking about magic. Garl was resurrected. Okay, that's the middle of town. I could have sworn there was a shop here. <laughs> People so confused. Somehow I'm able to find joy in my work again. Can, can you sell me things? Let's rejoice. The whole town's just really glad Garl's back. I love that. It's so pure. This just leads to the solstice thing. Place. Maybe we shouldn't have come back home. On second thought. Tis a silly place. Camelot is a silly place. I have to push the pram a lot. That's just the, that's the one line that repeats in my head every time. Okay, where are we going? We need another place that has shops. Maybe Lucent has a shop with meat? Let's, we may as well check Mirth too again along the way. Oh no, Lucent is closer. I'm silly. Nope. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> well, I haven't said it in a while, so I will say again, thank you all for being here, hanging out with me as we, we journey to 100% in Sea of Stars. Um, if you happen to be here and you're not following already, I definitely would appreciate your follow. We're three away from my goal for the month of December. Um, so maybe you can get me there um, if you're new here. And uh, if you don't feel like uh, talking in chat and letting me know how your day is, that's totally fine. This is a lurker positive space. Um, yeah. I will make sure to follow. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Novel. <laughs> I appreciate you. I'm talking to all the other people who are here, that, or the Twitch says are here, who don't have blur blurbos yet. I'm not looking for equipment. I am looking for goods. Can I get meat? Hell yeah, give me all of your meat. Don't think about it, chat. Don't even think about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, we also need eggs. We haven't found a shop that has eggs yet. Where has eggs? I feel like our shop back in Mirth has eggs and I just didn't, I didn't go there for that. But I think, I think that should be enough meat for us. We at least now know that we can go to Lucent for meat. That is helpful information. Time to get wet. You're totally right, Stream Elements. It is, I have not drank water in a bit. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and cook some things. Okay, we, oh, have I not sold things since we last cooked? I haven't, we can only make two things. That's fine. Um, let's make that peach thing, peach strudel. And we can make crostade while we're here. Nice. Do that, and that. And we will rest again. <laughs> 
so many ingredients. Uh, let's go to the shop real quick. We gotta sell our things anyways. Not equipment. This one. Let's sell all of this extra stuff. Egg! Oh, maybe we did already buy plenty of eggs. Wait! The shop here had meat! What am I doing? Oh no, that's us. Is it? No, that's the shop here. Guys, we didn't even have to- I'm so silly. I'm a silly person. I'm the silliest person. I don't remember them having all that stuff the last time we were there at that shop. I choose to believe that happened in between the last time and now. And that I, that I wasn't hallucinating them being out of everything. Okay, let's do this cooking thing. We need to make yakitori shrimp. Cook. We didn't get any shrimp while we were out. <laughs> That's the one thing we need that we didn't get. <laughs> okay. Because, like, yeah, at least a few of these uh, last ones need need shrimp. Have I rested enough for you? Yeah, there we go. Shrimp! We love shrimp. Actually, in real life, I find shrimp utterly disgusting. Just the smell of it is horrifying for me. It, it just... It, it assaults my nostrils. I do not understand enjoying the shrimp. And I'm not knocking anybody who does. I'm just saying you are uh, subhuman if you enjoy it. <laughs> there we go. I think that's another shrimp one. I think it's one of the little squid guys. Or jellyfish. Okay, yeah. It's all the, like, non-fish fish that give you shrimp. A uh, puppet, you can say. A puppet? Subhuman? Yeah, that's true. I guess so. Way to call yourself out, Purple. You filthy shrimp enjoyer. Oh, nope. Don't want to override that one. I'm keeping that second slave save slot because that was the one that we, um, that we did when we beat the game. That was the first extra save slot that we did coming back. Uh, just in case, you know... Just in case I mess something up and I want to go all the way back to where we were in the Fleshmancer's Lair. Never really like seafood in general. Yeah, seafood is one of those things that it can either be really great or really terrible. I feel like it's it, it can go either way real easily. Um, okay. <clears throat> Yakitori shrimp. <laughs> Pandore. However the fuck you say that. Okay, that's two of those. We're about halfway through our list. Braze, or braze. Takes so long to cook this one. <laughs> okay. Chaudre, or chaudre? Chaudre. Mushroom scramble. And then the next one's mushroom soup. And then hearty stew. Okay. And then do we still have enough stuff to make all of these? It looks like it. Moon Cradle Fish Pie is the next one, and then Poutine. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and mark these off so we don't get confused. Everything before Hardy Stew.
Oh, we're much more than halfway. We're, like, nearly done. We have six more things left to make. Yeah. I love seafood, but I live on the coast. Nice. I mean, I guess that's good if you love seafood, right? I, I grew up, um, well, I don't know about grew up. I spent a few years of my early childhood living outside of Corpus Christi in a town called Orange Grove, Texas. Um, and uh, yeah, even though it was the Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf of Mexico is not like the sort of like the best fishing, there's still some stuff you can get there that is like really great if you like deep sea fishing. Um, my parents would always go on like fishing trips on the weekend and stuff like that and bring back um, yeah, just all sorts of random stuff. Um, oh yeah, we need to sell these things. I'm getting very tired, so after we finish uh, making all of the things, then I might end stream, and then we can do the actual end of Sea of Stars uh, on the day that I had it scheduled originally, which was um, New Year's. Or rather, New Year's Eve. I don't have New Year's Eve plans, so I'm planning on just streaming, and we might just finish Sea of Stars that night. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I also want as many people to be here as possible for the end of Sea of Stars, and I know a lot of people have New Year's plans, so, you know. Okay, um, Moon Cradle Fish Pie is the next one. And then Poutine. Parfait. Where's Parfait? And then the pudding. Where's the pudding? And then Champion's Omelette. Oh my god, are we going to have all the stuff we need to make the Legendary Feast too? Because that's the last thing we need to cook. It's a legendary feast. Fuck. We need more shrimp. <laughs> it's always the shrimp. Think about how much effort went into making all this cooking art. Yeah, right? And it's just like a thing that you wouldn't even necessarily have to engage with if in a normal playthrough if you don't care about that kind of thing. They just like, they did that because they could. Also, apparently, um, I, I just learned this the other day, or, or actually earlier today, um, when I was <coughs> looking up art for thumbnails for the Sea of Stars VODs. Um, uh, you know, official art that is not made by other people, so I don't have to, you know, license out or anything like that. Uh, anyways, uh, I was looking for art for VODs, and uh, I stumbled across an article that was talking about the DLC that is apparently scheduled to come out. Um, I don't know. I don't know when it's supposed to come out, but there's uh, supposedly some DLC happening that revolves around the Watchmaker, um, which is pretty cool because they're one of my favorite characters that I that you know we didn't get like any information about. Um, but yeah, whenever the whenever Sea of Stars got funded because it was a, a Kickstarter project, I think. Um, Whenever it got funded, they met the stretch goal for this, like, DLC. So, uh, apparently, that's, like, in the works now. It's, like, in production or whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to know that there's there's stuff to look forward to. Okay, let's see if that shrimp replenished. Please? No. I don't want to have to fish anymore. Please, just give me the shrimp. I need one more shrimp. Is this a nasty little guy? Not that one. That's gonna give us fish. I don't care about fish. I want shrimp. Only shrimp. No, no, I want the, I want that nasty little boy in the middle. No, 
now he's over there on the side. Come here. Yeah, I got him. Give me your shrimp. Yes. Okay. I think that's enough. It's gonna be really funny if that's not enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's everything I needed. Wait, did I... Do I need to sell things? No, okay. I don't need to sell anything. It is very funny, the idea of walking around with three legendary feasts in your pocket. It's very much that, like, D&D &D party inventory management thing of, like... They've basically got to be walking around with a bag of holding to account for all of these things. Okay, legendary feast. That should be the last one. <coughs> According to my official list, sourced from, uh, I don't remember where it was, <laughs> sourced from some random article I found on the internet, that should be all of the foods in the game. So now we go to our boat and we check the progress. I like this song. There we go. We cooked every recipe. Oh my god. That feels like completion. Okay, we've got one. Uh, we have how many more? Three feats left to complete? Y'all, we're so close. We have three things left to do in the game. Yes, thank you, Purple. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. We have three feats left. I'm gonna have to look up a feats. Should we just do that right now? Hell yeah. I love all of you. Sea of Stars, feats. Feats! See you start wiki. Give me, give me all those feats. Are they listed in the order they're listed here? Because that would be really handy. TJ? Hell yeah, thank you! Mwah! Uh, Purple has subscribed for zero months. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're amazing. Too good. Okay, boss slugged. No way. Oh, they are in order. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm looking for the one that is after. Master Angler. It's in between Master Angler and New Girl Plus. Living Encyclopedia. Achieve pro rank in every single quiz question pack. Okay, so we need to do the quizzes. Yeah. Uh, pro rank in every quiz. Hell yeah. We got goals. We got goals. This stream is goals. I remember when everybody used to say goals. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I fucked it up. Where's my... There we go. No god of mine. Defeat the Fleshmancer. That makes sense. We knew we were probably going to do that. I don't consider that a spoiler to myself. <laughs> Oh, now I'm wondering if I should look at the last one, because it's past all of that. Let's look at it anyways. Defeat 10 bosses with the Artful Gambit relic on. I forgot what Artful Gambit does. Doesn't that turn off some power of yours? It's a high-risk, high-reward relic that increases the difficulty of the game. While worn, the relic lowers the player's maximum HP by 95%, including HP gained from other items. The bonus from successful timed hits is doubled during this time, and timed blocks reduce damage taken to one. Additionally, enemies cannot take damage while casting. Holy shit. So it's like a completely different way to do boss fights. Ah, oh, fuck. We're gonna be at that for a while, speak as elite gamer. You're so right. You're so fucking right. Okay, so next time we achieve pro rank in every quiz and then we defeat the Fleshmancer and then 
we turn on Artful Gambit and go back and beat every boss again. <laughs> um, that's a lot. But knowing that we only have those three things to do left, I'm like, I ha we have to do it, right? I, I have to do that. I'm going to have to look up what bosses specifically you need to beat for that. Um, because I also don't know how to go back and fight bosses that we've already beaten. Um, damn. That shit's crazy. Um, okay, well, let me save my game. I think we saved down here, right? Or is it up there? Yeah, we saved down here. Garl! Oh, it's so nice having Garl in the kitchen again. Okay. That's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna let the music play us out, actually. <coughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here, for being uh, so cool uh, and active and funny and uh, uh, giving. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I look as tired as I feel. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I haven't done anything that required, like, actual brain power for at least two days. Uh, hashtag Rang Gang. Yes. Hashtag Rang Gang. Represent. Um, I'll get that. I will get that animation going so that you guys can use it. The fucking Moonarang bouncing around the screen. I will make that happen. I swear to you. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I will make it happen. It can't be that difficult. Um, hashtag Rang Gang. Hell yeah. Okay, well, um, I don't know when I'm going to stream next. Uh, I'll probably stream one more time this week, but I have, I have no idea when it will be. Um, I, again, might stream New Year's Eve, uh, because I think it would be fun. Speak, make sure to look at the song I sent earlier in chat later today or tomorrow. I don't remember the song you sent. Um, if you want to send it again or if you want to link it, uh, on the Fanit Discord, that would be even better. Um, cause then I can, everybody can see it there. Um, yeah, that, that's it for now. Um, stream relaunch January 27th, put it on your calendar. We're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, and until then, uh, I love you. Bye. <laughs>